Scary moments for a woman in Mount Vernon. She was a victim of yet another carjacking. As Rachel Minotoff explains, she lost things like her wallet and glasses, but most importantly, the suspects took off with her cat. The latest carjacking to hit the city of Baltimore happened in the parking lot of the Maryland Historical Society in Mount Vernon. Complete terror. Faith Peck says she was sitting in her car with the window rolled down when two men approached her. They just kept saying, lady, get out of the car, listen to me, get out of the car, and they were forcefully holding my arms and, and jack dragging me out of the car. At the same time, Faith says she was trying to reach for her cat, Baxter. He was in a carrier in the passenger seat of her car. And I just wanted my baby. He's only six months old and he was training to be my companion. He was going everywhere with me. So far this year, there have been more than 440 carjackings citywide. That's a 30% increase from last year, with the highest increases happening in southwest and southeast Baltimore. Here's Baltimore City Police Commissioner Michael Harrison addressing crime at a recent city council hearing. When they are committing carjackings, they're stealing those cars from residents and from people so that they can use them to commit other crimes. Alessandro Campilio has lived in Mount Vernon for nine years. He says the news of a carjacking this close to home is unusual. It's very shocking because um, I'm usually pretty, you know, well aware of uh, the local neighborhood groups and uh, even the apps involved for crime. The Maryland Historical Society agrees, saying in a statement, quote, this incident is a first for our museum. We are cooperating with local law enforcement and taking steps designed to ensure the safety of our staff and guests. Police tell us that they have not yet found Faith's car, and of course her cat is still missing. Right now, no suspects have been identified, but as always, if you have any information, you're asked to call Baltimore City Police. Reporting from police headquarters, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.